good afternoon from Disney Springs. We're here today, probably gonna get some lunch, probably gonna do some shopping. Yeah. Also, Uniqlo invited us out to show off their new UT Me experience. So basically, it's like a way to, I think it's a way to create your own t-shirt. Yeah. It was, the way that they kind of worded it is that it's a way to show off your like creativity with their new t-shirt line. Yeah. It sounds very cool, very exciting. It's also, also only currently available in their flagship New York store and a store in San Francisco, and now it'll be available here. Yeah, so it's pretty neat. We love Uniqlo's clothes already. We wear a ton of their stuff. Like Tim's got his t-shirt on now. Mm. I've got mine on. But uh, yeah, so let's go check it out. And then, yeah, I think we'll do some shopping, maybe have some lunch. Let's do it. All right, here we are at Uniqlo. We're gonna head inside and see what the UT Me is all about. So here it is. This is the UT Me kiosk. And this is exactly like we thought. You get to design your own t-shirt and they have all kinds of different stickers and you can do your own text. You can even upload your own photos. And then they have these four local artists that helped out with some of the designs. So the first artist that you can choose from is Boy Kong. He was actually raised here in Orlando and he draws inspiration from folk and graffiti and he uses watercolor, painting, uh, collage, sculpture, and mural art. And here's one of the examples that they have of his artwork here. Really cool. And then we've got Candy Five, and she does candy art. She's the world's first female candy artist, and she moved here to Orlando, and she performs at Epcot. So you can actually see her at the Japan Pavilion, and here's an example of her artwork here, and I'm guessing this is made out of candy. It looks pretty cool, they're like lanterns. And the next artist is Brian Reedy, another Florida-based artist who specializes in block printing. Here's an example of his artwork. His is the most interesting to me, actually. I really, really enjoy his style, I think, the most. So, funny story, but I was looking at my Instagram DMs and Danny Kidwell sent me an, an Instagram DM and said, hey, that Black Panther piece you have in your office, that is a Brian Reedy piece. I didn't even realize that. So look at that, small world. No wonder I was so drawn to Brian's artwork because I already own it and I already love it. So there it is. And this one is just something that I love so much. I think this is so amazing. I, I love his style of artwork and there it is. I've already got a piece in my office from him. Small world. And then we've got Nora B, another Orlando born illustrator and graphic designer. This is hers here. Really, really neat. They're just some super cool ideas to put on t-shirts. So here's another one from Brian Reedy. I do, I think his is my favorite style for sure. Another one from Candy Five. Very cool. I think this is Boy Kong here. This is how we start. We've got four different options. You've got picture, text, paint, or stamp. So with the picture, you can actually upload your own picture, which is pretty awesome. You can create your own text, or you can do like, you can just paint, you know, uh, make your own design. I don't know if I'm like artistically inclined enough for that one, but. And then with the stamps, they have some preloaded kind of uh, artwork in there. And that's where you would find the four different artists and also Disney content. So you can see Candy Five, and they have, oh, Snoopy, Marvel, Peanuts, and then Roger Federer. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. And then these are the local artists. So like Brian Reedy here. Yeah, he was my favorite. Yeah, and it tells you you can't like duplicate the same sticker or overlap stickers there. And then he's got two different designs. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah, this stuff is really cool. Cool, all right, so I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make our own t-shirts. So I think Tim is gonna create a, a t-shirt with a picture from like our library, like one of our phones maybe. Yeah. And then I'm gonna use their artwork. Okay. And see how they turn out. All right. Yeah? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right, we are importing a photo of Jackson. I guess a circle, let's see. I wish I could do like an oval. I want to see what this looks like. I'm not going to leave it at this, but whoa. I think I accidentally like turned it a little bit. All right. I think that's pretty good, right? That's going to be on my shirt. Yeah. And then, whoa, let's see what happens. So that one you just kind of like would swipe over. Whoa. That's interesting. Oh, whoa. Look at that. It's like, wow. So I got my photo of Jackson in there and now I get to write what I want. What color should I do? Black. Oh, because you're doing it over the picture? Yeah. I guess it, if I'm at the top, it should work okay. Let's try it here. Yeah, that looks good. Should you try it in a square, maybe? Square? Yeah, I think the square would, wouldn't have the rounded top. Do you know what I mean? a 
quick look at the t-shirt now they're just setting it buddy there's a giant picture of you on a t-shirt and i'm gonna wear it all the time all right what do you think it looks awesome i love it this is i'm gonna wear this all the time you should i kind of want one now too yeah. <laughs> jackson you're on a t-shirt look what do you think Do you love it? Are you so happy to be on a big t-shirt? Buddy, that's you! That's you! So we actually just took a break. Jen still has to design her t-shirt. Um, but we're gonna go get some lunch real quick. Yeah. The good thing to note is that this is this is a permanent thing now. Yeah, so I thought this was a pop-up. I didn't know this is actually here. Like, you can come on your vacation and make one of these t-shirts like the next time that you're in town. Yeah. Which is really cool. So it's, it's here like forever. This is gonna be here. The only thing that they ask is that you don't use like other people's artwork, other people's photos, things like that. Oh yeah, yeah. But you could come and like make a family vacation t-shirt and everybody could get one. I actually am like, I'm very excited for this because we take so many photo pass photos at the park. I feel like we just have so many good like family Disney photos. Yeah. I want to put one on a t-shirt. So I think we'll come back and make more of these for sure. And I kind of think I want to make one for like your mom and your dad. Okay. I think they would really love that too. With just, ja just Jackson? With ja yeah, with a picture of Jackson on it. Like, I don't know, I just think this is such a fun gift idea. Yeah. So I can't wait. And Christmas is just around the corner. It's true. Uh, let's go eat at Boathouse. Yeah, we haven't been to Boathouse in so long and it's one of our number one top favorite restaurants here at Disney Springs. So it's a Friday afternoon at Disney Springs, right around lunchtime. It's pretty nice here. Like not a lot of people out and about. You know what that means? What? We can go shop at World of Disney today. Oh yeah. I hope. I'm excited. The weather is perfect for us to sit out on the back dock. Should be a nice breeze coming off the water. We haven't been here in so long. Oh, I know. I don't know what I'm going to get. I'm going to get everything. <laughs> it's no, so I good. I want everything. Oh, here's the menu if you'd like to look at it. Somebody's out for an Amphicar ride. Do you this remember when nice. we did that? Yeah. I feel like today might be a good day to do it because it's not super hot. I don't know, the sun's pretty high up in the sky though. Oh yeah. All right, so here's the food that we got. I got the filet mignon sliders, which look awesome. There's like little pieces of filet mignon. Jackson got the grilled salmon. Oh, he's excited for it. And Jen got, what did you get? Oh, I got the coriander spiced, the coriander spiced tuna. They look really delicious. And there's shishito peppers under there. Jackson also got some uh, watermelon. And Jen got some truffle fries. The fries look so good. Do you love your fishy? Yummy. Yummy fishes. I think he does love salmon. Yeah. I mean, he really likes it. Say, I love fish, like mama. Yummy. Oh, you got it? You got it? Okay. So I just wanted to show you my tuna. There is the coriander crusted side, and the rest is pretty rare. It's delicious. And then they have a. Oh, that's the, the Ampicar. A little wasabi cream and um, sriracha to dip it in. It is so good. It like melts in your mouth, you know? Like, delicious. And these truffle fries are so good. I don't really care for the sauce that comes with it. The fries on their own are so flavorful. I don't, I don't really think you'd need the sauce. They're so delicious. And then Jackson, has been loving his salmon and his watermelon. It's kind of a lot of food for him, so I think we're gonna end up eating some of it. Yeah. What do you think, buddy? Do you like your salmon? All over your face. <laughs> so when we first got here, some people came out and said hello to us, and they got us a dessert. I wish we had gotten their names. I feel so bad, but it was so nice to meet you. Thank you for the dessert. I love key lime pie, so I'm very excited for this. Me too. Yeah. They did say it was their most popular dessert here too, so Ooh. should be pretty good, delicious. Good starting point. <laughs> Wanted to give a quick update on Gideon's. They've got the sign out front now. The Gideon's Cookies, Cakes, and Curiosities. And then you can see the backstory is that this building used to be a bookstore. And they have an entire backstory to this, like fully flushed out history of the people that used to own the building and everything. I think that's one of the coolest things about Disney Springs is that everything has a backstory. Like even the the springs itself. Even this right yeah. here that we're standing on. Yeah, it's really neat. And I know that you've talked about it in the Disney Springs tour video, right? Yeah. So I'll link those down below if you want to watch our detailed tours. Um, there's a lot of good information in those videos. So what did you think of your lunch? 
I loved it. It was actually the last thing that I had at a boathouse the last time we ate there. Yeah. And it was so good, I was like, I need to try that again. It was just as delicious this time as it was last time. Yeah. And then um, that key lime pie dessert was really, really good too. I liked it, I liked it a lot. I liked my, my little sliders were so good as well. Mm -hmm. So, all right, we're heading back to Uniqlo. Oh yeah, so I need to make my t-shirt now. We took a little break to have lunch, um, and I i don't know what I'm gonna make. I don't know. Yeah, I'm you excited. were supposed to be thinking about it during lunch. I know, but I was just thinking about lunch. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. They have Arism masks, and it looks like they're filtered, but you don't take the filter out. Oh, and this has a, a UPF rating of 40. It's like wearing sunscreen on your face. We came back to do Jen's design and there's a line now. I know, you guys, it's very popular. Right? Do you see this? Oh yeah. They have some really cool t-shirts right now. I also want to look at the baby stuff. I want to, I like this. I feel like these shirts are really neat looking. I feel like it's just like the most unique Disney shirts that you can find are here at Uniqlo. Although some of them are fairly basic you know and also they're not a bad price at all they have the like the cutest stuff i wish that jackson could fit into it because like look at this one it says minnie's going to the city to get a new dress oh yeah they're just like so random i don't know it's cute i'm gonna get some of these these are really neat i don't know what's mickey about this one oh well, there he is all right i think we're going to attempt it doesn't look too busy we'll see how it goes I think, I think it should be somewhat okay. It says exit only, but they're making us go in here. Oh, it's actually really interesting being in here because there's so much more space now. Things are just like so spread out and the line to check out so big. It feels a lot nicer now. Yeah, it feels less crowded. Yeah. Look at all this Halloween stuff over here. All right, we put Jackson in the carrier. You doing a little dance, buddy? Look at it, watch when he sees himself in the mirror. Who's that buddy? He goes, eh. <laughs> Who's your best friend? Who is it? Is it Boogs? We love him, huh? All right, we're back at Uniqlo and we're gonna design this shirt. Jackson's gonna help me. Oh yeah. There's so many choices. So you can do the Disney, like Disney artwork, Snoopy, Marvel, Peanuts. There's so many choices. Yeah, this Who's is this by an one? artist called Timothy Goodman. Check out this one too. I think I'm gonna pick Disney, yeah. So what should I, should I do? Eeyore? Oh yeah, maybe I'll, let me see what he looks like. Eeyore, and then. Can he be bigger? Yeah. You think that's in the center? I think so. Looks pretty centered. And then you can add some like clouds behind him. All right, there's the final oh, no. product. Let's see. Oh, oh no, which ones are overlapping? I think because it's in his square. Oh. So I had to take some of my stickers off. Oh. I feel like I'm wondering why we didn't have this technology before to like just print t-shirts. Yeah. There it is. It's the Eeyore shirt. I love it. Do you see my bees? I see them. Bees. So we're actually on our way out, but before we leave, I wanted to show you all Love Pop opened. Look at that. It's like pop up here. We can, we can show yeah. what the greeting cards look like. They're like pop up greeting cards. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. That's super smart. That's awesome. Thank you. They've got all kinds of Halloween stuff too. Look at this. And the pumpkin one. These are so fun. Look at the little tiny pumpkins. Wow. Oh, and then you got Thanksgiving ones too. Super fun. All right, I think it's uh, I think it's getting to be that time. It's starting to get busy out here. It's dinner time, so I think a lot of people come for dinner. So I think we're gonna head home. But we had so much fun today. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Holy cow, we actually had so much fun at Disney Springs. We totally, totally forgot to film an outro. So we wanted to say thank you to Uniqlo for having us out to experience the UT Me uh, experience. It was fantastic. I really enjoyed doing it. I liked making the t-shirt of Jackson. I think we'll definitely be back to make like Christmas gifts for people. Because, I mean, maybe my parents would like a, like shirts with my face on it. You never know. Or probably Jackson's face. We'll get him. We'll get him shirts with Jackson's face, like matching shirts. So the next time that they see him, 
he'll they'll just have like a giant tr- picture of his face and he'll be like hey look the same reaction that he had when he saw the shirt that i that i made he'll see when he sees his grandparents again that's like that's the perfect gift right there is if you have a baby you make a shirt with the baby's face on it because babies like looking at their own face and then you give it to somebody and that way the person wears that the next time that they see the baby and then the baby is like oh my gosh that person has a shirt of me on and then they get really excited and then that person feels really good because the baby is excited to see them right this is a this is a perfect plan also a boathouse was delicious as ever love the boathouse and it was so nice the weather was so nice just sitting out on the dock and it's actually a floating dock so there was like this nice gentle rock to it and anytime like anybody came down the ramp or down the stairs and got onto the floating section that we were on the whole thing kind of like bounced and swayed and jackson got to eat salmon which he really enjoyed i was very surprised that he liked salmon so much uh so i think he takes after his mom whereas i don't really like fish I did try the salmon. It kind of tasted like different chicken to me. Like it had the same texture as chicken, but it didn't taste like chicken, which is strange to say because most things everybody's like, oh, it tastes like chicken. This one didn't taste like chicken, but it felt like chicken when you're eating chicken. It's very bizarre, but Jackson really liked it. Jen loved her tuna. I loved my uh, sliders. And I always get a little bit confused when I order them though, because they're called sliders, but they're filet mignon. And so you think like, oh, maybe they like ground up filet mignon. No, they're like little pieces of filet that they put in between buns. And then you have like a little filet slider and those French fries. Oh my God. Oh, and also the key lime pie or the key lime dessert, key lime jar. So good. So delicious. If you go to Boathouse and you like key lime pie, highly suggest that you get that. But all in all, fantastic day at Disney Springs. Oh, we got, we went into some stores too. We went into World of Disney first time since the reopening that we've gone in the world of Disney, it wasn't so bad. It did get kind of crowded and people kind of like go all over the place, like willy nilly, not really with any direction. They're more paying attention to like shopping than they are social distancing or physical distancing or anything like that. So we didn't spend too much time in there, but it was nicer that the the display racks and the merchandise was spread out more. But I think that means that there's less merchandise in there now, like less to choose from. I don't know, like I said, Fantastic day at Disney Springs. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to help. So since we were checking out this fun experience at Uniqlo, we wanted to shine a spotlight on Uniqlo's own charity, Clothes for Smiles. Clothes for Smiles has raised about $9.5 million from the sale of their heat tech and ultralight down products. And with that money, they were able to help fund nine different projects all over the world. They are currently still funding the Surumi Children's Hospice Facility which is Japan's first community hospice and has been serving the children in Osaka since 2016. So if you're interested in learning more about what this charity does, we'll put a link in the description down below. And thank you guys for watching this video.